Due to the number of versions of Photoshop and now 32-bit and 64-bit versions, TSEPS goes through a lot of work to try and find the appropriate places to put the plugins. Now, if you're on a PC, which I'm on here, if you're on an older PC, Windows XP or Vista, under your C drive, you may only have one folder called Program Files. This would be for 32-bit programs. On Windows 7, Windows makes a program files folder called program files x86 that contains 32-bit programs and it makes a file called a folder called program files that contains 64-bit programs and if you've installed cs4 or cs5 you will have photoshop in both of these folders because photoshop installs the 64-bit version in the program files folder and the 32-bit version in the x86 folder on a macintosh cs5 is available in 64-bit and it'll be under your applications folder now to check and see if TSEPS is installed correctly, you should go to the folder that contains the version of Photoshop you're using. And if you're like me, you're using various multiple versions of Photoshop, and TSEPS tries to install the plugin in every version of Photoshop it finds on your computer. So we'll double click on Adobe Photoshop CS4. We're going to go to a folder called Plugins, and a folder called Automate. And in here, we're looking for any reference to TSEPS. And you can see that in this folder, I have TSEPS 32-bit and TSEPS Custom Index 32-bit. Photoshop must find these files in the Automate folder for it to work correctly. So if you ever get any errors that the program can't find TSEPS, check your Automate folder and see if TSEPS is there. There's a slight chance that with all the different versions of Photoshop and 32 and 64-bit, that the installer could have missed one of the folders. Now, Photoshop should have been closed during the installation because when you run Photoshop, it looks to the Automate folder and loads whatever plugins are there. And you should get a window like this. This is called a splash screen, uh, often called a NAG window. And this basically says that you've got TSEPS installed. And to continue to use it for 20 days, press the Try button. If you're a free trial user, you press the Try button. And it will ask you a number of times. It may ask you four or five times to approve it. And this is because it's loading various parts of the plugin. If you purchase the program, then you click on the Authorize button, and the Authorize button brings up a window that's for the unlocking security program, and it gives you a series of words. It gives you a string of odd words, and you copy these words called the challenge, and you email them to support at tbiznetwork.com, and we send back another string of weird words that you paste into the response window. This unlocks the program once you've purchased it. If you're a trial user, we do not unlock it. You have to press the Try button a number of times whenever you run routines, and Photoshop will load. Now, TSEPS works in the Actions palette. In the Actions palette in Photoshop, to open it, you go to the Window pull-down menu and come down to Actions, but I've already got it open. So the Actions palette's open. There are various stock actions already in the palette. There are a few things that we can't automate with the installer for TSEPS, and one of them is loading the program in the Actions palette. So make sure the Actions palette is open, and go to the little arrow in the upper right of the palette and come down to Replace Actions. Now you need to drill around and find the TSEPS folder. And it's on your C drive on a Windows PC computer and it's on your Mac hard disk on a Mac. And in that folder, again we have the folder called Actions. And we showed you earlier that we have a variety of actions. So you would load the appropriate action into the palette. Now the action might load and look like this. This is the actual programming. This is behind the scenes, and this is not how you run the program. The program must be in what's called button mode. We click on the arrow again. We click on button mode, and the buttons must be in the purple and yellow and green. Now, this palette can be made wider, and if the palette's too wide, the buttons are shuffled, and they're really out of order. The palette must be narrow, so the buttons are stacked one on top of the other. Now, the second thing that we can't automate during the installation routine is setting some of the Photoshop parameters to do the separations and display them correctly. If we go to the Edit pull-down menu and come down to Color Settings, we want to change the Working Spaces RGB to Apple RGB, even if you're on a PC computer. We want to go to CMYK and click on Custom CMYK, and this is detailed in the manual, we want to set this for swap newsprint standard dot gain 30% 
Black Generation Light or Medium, Black Ink Limit 85%, Total Ink Limit 250%, and this is all covered in detail in the manual, and these settings only have an effect on real CMYK separations. We're going to change the dot gain to 30% for gray and 30% for spot. This has a profound effect on how we display the image once we've separated it. We want to display the image once it's separated with dot gain applied so it will display the way it will look when you screen print it. And we say OK and Photoshop remembers these settings. Now once in a while Photoshop will forget these settings and maybe if you have to reinstall Photoshop or maybe have a computer crash, but Photoshop remembers these settings. Now the way to check and see if TSEPS is actually installed is you go to the file pull down menu and come down to automate. And TSEPS must show up in this window. And you'll see TSEPS and TSEPS Custom Index. Now you do not run TSEPS from here, but it must be here for the program to work correctly. If you don't see TSEPS here, then the plugin is not in the proper Automate folder that we showed you earlier. And you want to go back to the Automate folder and check it out. So TSEPS must be under this menu, but again, you don't run it here. Now, if you're on an Intel-based processor and running Photoshop CS2 or earlier, you're going to have to load the PowerPC version, and you're also going to have to run Photoshop in what's called Rosetta mode. And you go to your Applications folder, click on the Photoshop icon, go to Get Info, and check Open Using Rosetta. And then you have to restart Photoshop. Now, the program is installed and ready to go, and you should now watch the Quick Start videos or watch how to run some of the various routines. Hope you enjoy TSEPS.